Hey guys, Ms. Warren here. I'm going to model for y'all some thinking and planning about landscape. So first we have to think about what is a landscape. A landscape, landscape is an outdoor scene where the land is the most important thing. That's the theme of the picture. That's the star of the show. That's your main subject. So it's an outdoor scene where the land is your main subject. Now, you wanna brainstorm what kind of landscape you'd like to do. You can think about the colors you like, the places you've been. Um, I like to start with places I've been that I actually have pictures of that I can reference. I took this picture at Stillhouse Hollow Lake, which is in Harker Heights. Um, I took this picture in Harker Heights as well. I really like the clouds and the contrast of the light and dark. Um, I took this picture out at Colorado Bend State Park. I used the rule of thirds. I have a foreground, a midground, and a background, and an important object one third of the way into the page. Took this one there too. There's lots of water, and you've got a rock, you got a foreground, midground. This little light area is about one third of the way in the page. I wish I had more background. Um, this I took out in Staples, Texas. You have uh, a foreground, a midground, and a background, but you can't really see the foreground very well. So I might use this as a reference for the tree, but not the whole thing. I can kind of mix and match them. Um, this one's from Big Bend. You have a waterfall one third of the way into the scene, and I have my friend Steven one of the into the way into this one third of the way into the scene, and I have a foreground, a midground, and a background. Um, this is also from Big Bend. I have this big rock jutting out one-third of the way into the picture. So um, I kind of want to think about what I want to do. Now I'm going to do four different ideas. So I'm going to split my page into quarters here. Let's see. Um, about halfway here, halfway here. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do four little compositions and see which one I like the best. I'm gonna use different elements from different things. I think I'm gonna start with, um, I think this one's my favorite. I'm not gonna, I don't have to copy it and I can change stuff up, up a little bit, but I like that I have like a textured rock here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lightly draw lines one third of the way into my page so I know where to put stuff. So all my close up stuff, so like the rock, Maybe those few little blades of grass peeking into the scene. Um, I want that waterfall to be about one third here. So I have it kind of like flowing down in an arc and I have it flowing towards me, but the rocks kind of overlap that water, don't they? And then behind that waterfall, there's a rock on the side. I mean, this is kind of like a creek. It's not a really big waterfall. And then the rocks kind of go down and I have the tree with some knobs on it. Kind of like right here and the grass coming out. Now this part is kind of plain, so I think I'm going to change it. Let's see, I got a cool foreground. What could I do in the background? Maybe like another tree kind of overhanging here, with some branches on it. Um, maybe like a rock back over this way. And maybe some clouds in the sky. I'm gonna make it like you could see the sky. So that would be one sketch idea. And I do wanna use the rule of thirds. So here, let me, let me do a sketch from imagination over here. So I'm gonna do rule of thirds. So, well, I want my main objects here and here. I want my close-up stuff down at the bottom, my mid-range stuff in the middle, and my background stuff at the top. So I'm going to start thinking about, I think I want to do a lake scene. So I know that the lake is going to be kind of shaped like a stretched out oval. And I don't want it to go all the way to the end. Um, I want like a little bit of land jutting out into the lake. I'm gonna let the lake go off the page on this side. Maybe put a log up close so I have something to put some texture on so it's not boring. Then maybe a waterfall over here like that. There's like a cliff 
way back in the background here. I'm gonna make it in the top third so it looks further back. And then the waterfall's coming off the cliff and make it a big splash into this lake. Maybe I'll do a tree over here, one third of the way in, and a little bit more of that lake in the background here. There's like a cliff and some rocks. Maybe another tree over here so it doesn't look lonely. And then I think I want to do a mountain like way off in the distance, not a perfect triangle mountain. Some mountains overlapping here, maybe some clouds. This is a sketch idea. Or maybe instead of just waterfalls, maybe I don't want to do something with water. Maybe I want to do a desert. Maybe I'll do a piece of land jutting out in the middle. The rocks coming straight down. I could do a small person, but I want the emphasis to be on the land. Maybe looking out over all that land. Just to show how big it is. Then have some like cliffs, maybe like an arch of rock. In this valley, maybe another cliff, some interesting rocks there. So you have like uh, objects one third of the way into the picture here, one third of the way into the picture here, stuff that's up close is down here, stuff that's mid range is here. And maybe I could do like a really bright desert sunset and make it mostly orange. Or I could make it nighttime and I could have the moon out. Maybe make it purple. Kind of consider what my options are. Looks a little bit blank down here. Maybe I'll do some like rocks and texture up here. I could do a cactus. Okay, cool. That looks pretty good. Let's think about another idea. Maybe this one I would do a seascape. So I think I want to do um, a little bit of land, or maybe a palm tree close down in the bottom third. And then maybe, oh, that looks too flat and too boring. Just I don't want just a plain flat straight line. Let's make that little um, ocean a little more dynamic. Let's give it a curve, have like an island jutting out in the background here. Yeah, that looks more interesting. Um, then maybe I can see a little bit of a wave. So with the sea foam at the top, I'm overlapping that tree. So it looks more like it's in the background. And then let's get some sea foam here. Maybe I could do something fun like a little crab or something here. I would probably want to look up a picture of a crab so I could get more detail. But that would, this is just my sketch. Okay, so we've got tree one third, the crab about one third. You got your close up stuff, your mid range stuff. I need some stuff in the background. Maybe I'll do like a sunset, um, just like a little C shape here, and then some clouds to reflect that sun. Okay, so there I have four ideas for my sketch for landscapes. Um, you want to consider which ones you want to do, where you want to put your objects, and then you can start thinking about what color you want to make your monochromatic landscape painting.